When someone you love or live with is diagnosed with hepatitis B, it can shake your peace of mind. Suddenly, ordinary things like sharing a meal, brushing your teeth, or even a small cut start to feel uncertain. Your mind begins to ask, am I at risk? Can I still hug them? What about my kids? It's a moment filled with questions and often quiet fear. But here's the truth. Fear thrives in the absence of knowledge. And the first step to protecting yourself and your loved ones is understanding how hepatitis B actually spreads. This virus doesn't float in the air. It doesn't live on kitchen counters waiting to infect you. You cannot get it from a hug, a handshake, a shared toilet, or even eating food prepared by someone who has it. Hepatitis B is transmitted through specific body fluids, blood, semen, and vaginal fluids, not through touch, not through talking, and definitely not through kindness. But don't let that give you a false sense of security either, because in the same way hepatitis B isn't casually spread, it can also enter your life in ways you wouldn't immediately expect, like sharing razors, toothbrushes, nail clippers, or even caring for someone with an open wound without gloves. These are the tiny, everyday risks that matter. So what do you do if your partner or housemate has hepatitis B? You act swiftly, calmly, and wisely. Start by protecting yourself the best way modern science knows how. Get vaccinated. The hepatitis B vaccine is one of the most effective in the world. Three shots, over 95% protection. If you're not already immune, this is your shield, your quiet bodyguard. And once you've completed the vaccine series, you can breathe easier knowing your body is ready. Next, create invisible but important boundaries. Keep personal hygiene items separate. If it can pierce the skin or touch the gums, don't share it. That toothbrush may look innocent, but if it's ever touched blood, even a drop, you don't want it in your mouth. And what about intimacy? Sexual contact remains one of the clearest ways hepatitis B can spread. If your partner is positive and you're not vaccinated yet, always use protection. Condoms are not just about preventing pregnancy. They are essential tools for preventing disease. And once your vaccine kicks in fully, your risk drops dramatically. But until then, don't take chances. There's also the matter of unexpected exposure, cuts, nosebleeds, accidents. If blood is involved, protect yourself. Use gloves. Clean surfaces with bleach-based disinfectants. You're not being paranoid, you're being prepared. But in all this, don't forget the human being behind the diagnosis. People living with hepatitis B often carry more than just the virus. They carry guilt, shame, and the silent weight of being misunderstood. The best thing you can do, aside from protecting yourself, is to refuse to stigmatize. Talk, support. Let them know they're not dirty, not dangerous, not unlovable. They're human, and they're trying. And if they're on medication, that's a huge plus. Many antiviral treatments reduce the amount of virus in the blood to very low levels, sometimes almost undetectable. This not only protects them from liver damage, it also reduces the risk of infecting others. Still worried? You have options. If you think you may have been exposed recently, there's a safety net. Post-exposure vaccination, given within seven days of contact, can often prevent the virus from taking hold. But don't wait. Time is critical. So yes, Hepatitis B is serious, but it is not unbeatable, not in a world with vaccines, medicine, soap, and common sense. You can live under the same roof, love the same person, and still stay completely safe if you follow the right steps. Protect yourself, protect your family, and protect the dignity of those living with hepatitis B. Knowledge replaces fear, action replaces doubt, and your support can be the beginning of healing for both of you. If you found this video helpful, please like it, share it, and subscribe for more science-based guidance that empowers your health and your home. And if you need help, check the description below for links to free vaccination programs, expert consultations, and more. Together, we fight fear with facts, and we fight hepatitis B with hope.